When I got the vision for Auntie Karen, it was just a bunch of disjointed ideas. Um, there was a song that I'd written back in 85. There was this idea of showcasing young entrepreneurs, this idea of having artists um, teach, seasoned artists teach younger artists. It all started to make sense when the vision for the Artist Village came because everything we had done for the past, gosh, 14 years, started to lend itself to be in one centralized location. And so Auntie Karen's place, I, I see it as a haven where creative minds can come together, a safe haven for creative minds. Well, I like doing my business because I get more money. Zana started when I was teaching her how to make the rubber band bracelets, so she started when um, my sister asked her, did she want to go to the Auntie Karen Foundation? It was like amazing that she like picked on, caught on to it and started and everything and how many sales she got at that time. So since she had her own business, um, her confidence and all opened up. And the vision for Auntie Karen's Place, which is an artist incubator and artist village, is to have this central place where kids and adults can come and learn from seasoned artists. And we have 20 artists that are already committed to this vision. I'm a guitar player from Columbia, South Carolina, and uh, I got a chance to teach kids by guitar. Uh, it's very, very important um, because uh, uh, there's untapped potential in uh, all over the place, you know, whether it's in a, uh, a community or um, a place that we may not know of. Um, so when we go to those places, um, I think the goal is to help um, children in that area um, understand their potential and whether that's using the arts or music or um, that platform to help them realize that because um, there's a lot of gifted people there. The Lee County Project was one where we would go in, several artists, I think it was 16 of us, and we would go in and teach our particular skill. They were overwhelmed. I mean, they just loved the fact that they were able to come to the classes early in the morning. We're talking the classes started at 8 o'clock in the morning, didn't finish until 12. And they were eager to come to our classes. In fact, every day seems like I was having new students come to join the classes. And the other teachers told me the same thing, that they were having new students. It was so overjoyed with enthusiasm that all of us were just excited to come every single day. Gordon's Garden uh, was developed uh, because children here in South Carolina have a very high incidence uh, in, of childhood diabetes and uh, type 2 diabetes and obesity. So we thought that helping children learn to eat better by helping them learn to grow their own vegetables would be a way to begin to help them um, solve some of these health problems. The kids love it. They're eager, they're ready, they can tell you what they're growing, how they're growing it, what soil they're growing it in, how often to water. Uh, we're just very excited about the whole program. I think it's important to have the Artist Village. It reminds our young people about their value. Um, about finding their purpose in life. That I'm a musician as well, but also an entrepreneur. And so I've been able at a young age to find where my niche is. And I think Auntie Karen will provide the opportunity for many young people here in Columbia to find their niche as well. In, in, a, in a typical classroom, you have one art teacher with, with a group of children. Well, um, Auntie Karen actually brings a different approach, which allows kids to really expand upon other things uh, more than just um, either uh, music, singing, or simply dancing, or simply being a part of a band. I believe that she really taps into the inner soul of the child and helps the kids really look beyond where they could possibly be. So if you are a person who believes that we can change this community through the arts, believes that our kids deserve better, give. We could use your help.